just finished my first year of college. Woo! Yeah, hooray for overachieving. Has anybody gone to college here? Yeah! Has anybody just drove past the college and said, college, I'd like to try that sometime. <laughs> well, you know, I learned, I learned a lot of stuff in college. Not actually in the classroom, but outside of the classroom is where this higher education, I feel, takes place. I, uh, I learned I'm a crazy motherfucker when I'm at a party. I learned that I am two different people when I'm at home and when I'm at college because when I'm at college, you know, I can go underage drink all night and uh, come back to my dorm, throw up everywhere and not expect to have to clean it up in the morning or get bitched at by my mother. <laughs> or I can go and smoke some weed and be, I'm in college, it's okay, I can smoke weed if I want to. By the way, I am a criminal justice major. <laughs> which means I do as much illegal shit now and I can get away with it than later. But the one thing I realized I can't really successfully grasp when I'm at home is picking up chicks. Because this is how it ends. I go to a party, I stumble in. My mom clicks on like, where have you been, William? And right there I'm like, shit, she used my full name. I'm in trouble here. And she goes, who is this? I go, mom. This is, uh, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> this is, uh, Von Brit Melissa, I'm at a party, she was kind of inebriated, I was kind of inebriated, talked for five minutes and decided it'd be a great idea to come back to my place and fuck. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, she's got work in the morning, Mom. You could just wake her up at like 8 o'clock and be great. <laughs> what type of pancakes do you like? Blueberry pancakes, Mom. You're not Mom now. That's what you do. That's what you do. So yeah, that's never actually happened, but I'm assuming that's how it works. <laughs> and my mom would say, get off your lazy ass and make your own damn pancakes before I stab you. <laughs> Again. Yes, my mother has stabbed me. We have a very awkward relationship. Like, I'll, never, I'll never forget this. I, I, I'm leaving for college. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in the car with my mom. She's next to me. I'm in the passenger seat because I go green and bike everywhere, which means I'm a loser who doesn't have his license. <laughs> and I go, hey, mom, I want to be open and honest with you. Um, you know, I'm not a virgin. Um, you know, I've been drunk before, and she goes, oh, I knew all that. And I go, is there anything you would like to share with me? And she goes, oh, okay, I'd like to be open and honest with you. I go, what? She goes, I dropped you on your head as a child. <laughs> what the fuck, mom? You dropped me on your head? She goes, yeah, you know in the playroom? You had all those, uh, those, those Tonka toys? Men know what Tonka toys are, right? You guys know what Tonka toys are? They're metal welded together with sharp corners. My mom dropped me into those. And then I asked her, well, did you save me? Did you make an effort? You know, you gotta make yourself look good here. You're my mom. She goes, yeah, I kind of went, ooh. <laughs> And I go, why didn't you catch me? She goes, have you seen Tonka Talk? <laughs> Those corners are really sharp. I don't want to mess up my face. <laughs> my soft spot wasn't a problem. When I was, my mom's a great lady. She's a saint, except for when she gets into a vehicle. <laughs> she is the biggest dick I've ever seen. And by the way, if you guys don't understand how awkward this is for me, it must be even more awkward to my mom, which is right over there. <laughs> I just called my mom a dick. <laughs> yeah. But I'll never forget this. I'm driving, my mom's driving, and uh, you know, she puts her, some lady next to her puts her blinker on, and she sees them in the back row, and she goes, this bitch better not try to get in front of me. I'm like, Mom, what are you talking about? She's, pro you know, following the adequate rules of the road, put her blinker on, she's gonna get an emergency, whatever. She's like, this bitch better not get in the same way as me. So I look over and I see her and I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. Shit's about to hit the fan. And she merges into the same lane. My mom dramatically 
slam down their brakes and go, bitch, why'd you move in front of me? Why'd you do that? What the fuck is wrong with you? Can't you drive properly? And I'm like, mom, she has a whole car length in front of you. There's no need to slam on the brake. She followed adequate rules of the road. But I, that's like one of the many times that once my mom gets into her transformer-like car, she feels that she is impervious because Optimus Prime will save her ass. <laughs> well, uh, I just got the hook. My name is Will, the Spaceman Dodge. It was a lovely time standing up here and making fun of my mother for you. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to introduce the, uh, the next comic. His name's Mark Schmidt. I can't pronounce your last name. 